Okay, so what we have here is effectively a number sentence, and we want to know what x is equal to. So we want to know what number x should be. Now the way to do it effectively would be to be able to get x by itself. Now what we can do is we'll write out this equation again and we'll give ourselves a little bit more room. Now what is the opposite of plus 7? Well the opposite of a plus is a minus and the opposite of plus 7 is minus 7. And we'll keep the equation balanced by doing a minus 7 on both sides. Now, Plus 7, minus 7, their opposites will cancel down, and when they cancel down, that'll just leave the x on its own. And 12 take away 7 is 5. So that should mean x should be equal to 5. Now, this I think makes sense, because if we have our equation, x plus 7 should be equal to 5. And if x is equal to 5, well, everywhere there was an x, if we put a 5, 5 plus 7 is 12. That makes the equation true. So x must be equal to 5. Alrighty, see you in class.